Is it on? Okay, we're good. <clears throat> wow, that was a cringy beginning. But anyways, we're finally doing the Q&A video. So, regarding the Q&A video, we'll get to all those questions. I have asked, I did multiple posts on my Instagram asking, hey, like, if I made a Q&A video, what would you guys want to know? Like, just anything. Um, cars, cameras, my life, anything. I just put up a poll and I got some good feedback. Um, but before that, I kind of want to go over new equipment and I would like to go over what lenses I use, what audio I've used, what stabler, <coughs> stabilizer I've gotten, um, and all these new kind of like little equipment slash gear that I've got. So I'm going to go over that right now. Okay, so the first thing, um, I, from the first vlog, um, when I bought the camera, it came with the 28 to 70 kit lens. Um, I loved that for a while. I think two weeks after, I bought I bought the Sigma 2414. Now, if you are looking um, to get a nice lens for portrait um, work slash video work, this lens kind of does it all for me. Um, I really like this lens. It's really like it makes everything soft and nice because it's that 1.4 aperture. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I used it for probably all the videos that have been on my Instagram and YouTube for a while uh, leading up till about two days ago. I actually just saved up all my coins in my piggy bank and um, went out and bought the, bought the Sony 24-70 2.8 G Master lens. Before I started this freelancing thing this year, um, I was using this lens. I was using that lens at my old job primarily, and that was like my go-to lens is 24 to 70, two-way all the way through. Favorite lens for anything, photos, video. I just love it. So what you are seeing right now, filmed on the 24 to 70, two-way. I'm still using the Sony a7 III. Um, honestly, I still feel like it's the most underrated Sony camera out right now. It's audio, I've been using the Rode Mic Pro, and all, these, all this equipment I will put either on the screen right here, or I'll link it down below in the info where everything is linked down below. Um, yeah, so I've been using the Rode Mic Pro. Um, loved it ever since. I've used it for a while for vlogs. Um, I think I used that mic all of uh, Real Life Atlanta. So all the audio was captured right from the mic and it's, it was super, super nice. I didn't have to have any external. I didn't have to put anything on a car to capture audio. It just came all straight from that. Stabilizer I've been using, um, I did have the Ronin S, but for car videos and all that, I really liked a three axis. I mean, it was, the Ronin S was still a three axis gimbal, but I liked the bigger Ronin M when I was still on the Ronin M. Um, I just liked how I can have different attachments and kind of just like, I just felt comfortable using it instead of the Ronin S for car stuff. So I went out and actually traded the Ronin S for a Moby M10 and traded it for a huge box right here. I don't know if it's a frame, but um, I'll show you it right now. Um, so that's what that looks like. And I got that a while ago. Great, I love the Moby M10. It's a little different than running. Um, you gotta basically, it's a lot more finicky. It's like really touchy. It, I don't, it's user friendly and it's not user friendly. Like you got, I watched a couple of videos on how to use it and set it up. Um, but so far I love it, it's really light. Uh, the monitor I use is the Atomos Ninja Flame, which I'll put right here. Um, so kind of, that's kind of like an overview of my setup. Um, I'll post a picture of my setup, what it looks like right here. And if you guys have any questions about it, let me know. I'm more than happy to talk about it more and go into depth more. I'm just kind of giving an overview of it. So this is from Carson Blackjack. Tips for beginners on car photography. Use a polarizer and learn how to position your car if it's like a bright day, overcast day. Um, don't just make the car your main subject. You use the background. I say just shoot everything. Oh, this is from Tyler Skates Bro. Would you be willing to do editing tutorials? Maybe. Um, how did you get into photography? How did you get your jobs? Senior year high school, um, my stepdad got a GoPro. I just grabbed his GoPro and said, I'm using it. I'm gonna, you know, went out on the lake, used that, filmed random things with my friends. 
Um, snowboarding was a big one. Um, first camera I picked up was a Nikon D3100. I had that for a couple months. Two months later, I picked up a Nikon D7100. Three, four months, um, got my first job, I guess photography job, with Sam Marvin Photography. Pretty much like set me up with everything that a videographer could want. Taught me about, you know, photo, video, business side of everything. Still learning business side. I wouldn't be here where I am right now if, if I didn't work for him. So thank you, Sam. 07350ZHR. How did you meet Morgan? Twitter. Underscore Mitchell Parker. Next thing you plan on doing with the Subaru. Uh, new wheels. Um, new wrap or paint. Um, kind of knew everything, kind of just like make everything all tidy and neat and replace old things in the engine bay. Cursed D'Angelo. Opinions on the car scene. Some say it's gone to shit, but I want to say, or I want to hear what you have to say. I feel like the car scene is, no matter where you are, there will be people that really enjoy it and are there for love of just being in the car scene. And you have these people that you like feel like they're higher up than everyone and they have too much clout and they don't want to talk to you or something like that. I don't know. I feel like the car scene is different everywhere. There are groups that I feel like they kind of shut people out just because they don't drive this or that. When I go to local shows, or not even shows, just meets, because we don't really have shows here in Idaho. But when I go to meets, like I, like, I talk to everyone. So it's like, I don't, it doesn't really matter what you drive, as long as you're a genuine human being, and you aren't a piece of shit, like, I don't know. I just, like, there's, there's, there's a lot of different ways that I can go with this question, and I be coming. <laughs> How long have you been in photography? I've been in photography for about, three years now. Why do you, what problems did you face becoming a professional? From Trevor Kilbert? I'm not a professional. I'm like an amateur at, at best. Kendall Davis, or Kendall W. Davis. How did you like the M10 compared to the Ronin M and S? Is Free Fly better? Um, I would say Ronin M, the Ronin series is more user friendly uh, there isn't a lot of bits and pieces that you can take apart. The Ronin or the Free Fly systems, the Movie 10 that I have, you, you can. There's a lot of bits and pieces, and it's it's user friendly and it's not user friendly. From I mean, that's just my opinion. Evan Fister, what are your thoughts on using the Blue Yeti for voiceover on video? Is the quality good? I highly suggest the Blue Yeti. I don't use it. I've used it before. Audio turns out great. Um, that's what all, every like streamer uses and seen use it. Always oh, turns out with good audio. Joshua Michael Brown, what got you into photography slash videography? Um, I always like creating things, and I'm still learning photography and I'm still learning videography. So there's always like something new that I learn every day when I go out and shoot. There's just I don't know, just something something about creating stuff and like just telling a story is just super like I don't know. I just I, I just enjoy it. Like just creating stories. Of just the littlest things, or it could be the biggest things, um, and just creating super dope content that people love. Toge Nice Christian, who has your favorite drift car? Don't answer bias. I don't know. I think they're all cool. I don't really have like Emily M Sig 17. If you weren't doing film as a career, what would you be doing? I enjoy cooking. I just cooked some ramen like five minutes ago. That was super bomb. Honestly, I have no clue. I, I really don't know what I would be doing. I've always been interested in being like a graphic designer. But I never really pursued that. M617. What's your least favorite thing about freelance work? Dealing with clients that don't pay on time or expect free stuff. M617 again, would you ever go into acting? Yes and no. I feel like I can't take myself serious. I did drama in like middle school, seventh and eighth grade. Does that count as acting? I mean, yeah, I think I would do acting if the opportunity presented itself. Slower tampon. How much designer do you really have? A little bit here and there. PD underscore pan. Are you planning on moving from Idaho? Um, I don't think I plan on moving from Idaho. I plan on sticking around here. Um, I love traveling, I'll travel, but I enjoy Idaho. I also enjoyed Atlanta and also enjoy Seattle. Who knows? I could be a spur of the moment thing. How did you start? Oh, this is from Pate.Lees. How did you start getting money and what came with that? I did stuff for free for a long time and that's like the huge thing is if you're a new videographer, photographer, 
don't come out of the gate like starting to charge everyone. I've shot, st I still shoot stuff for free. And I don't know, just, I started, I guess started doing it is when people started appreciating my work and like, just like connecting with people that needed stuff for their companies or just, just connecting with people. And they started to value my work and I, you know, just over time start growing and growing. Um, still growing right now. You know, I don't have like huge rates. I'm not some person that just like charges ridiculous amounts for work. Like I try to work with everyone. So, um, I don't know, just like, I started getting, I started probably and getting money last year, not two years ago. Best beginner camera setup, I just started working my ass off and I plan to invest. I started out with a Nikon D3100, but now there's camera, there's cam, there's camera nowadays, cameras, you water my mouth dry. There is cameras nowadays, like the Sony, like the A6000s, A7, that are really good. I really, I highly suggest getting like an A6000, A6300, any of the A6000 series, like you're just getting into it. Yeah, it's a little, it's like, you know, 500 bucks to $1,000, but they are one of the best cameras that you'll get and you will not need to upgrade for a while. They're still, I think, prop sensor slash full frame. So, I mean, unknown media, when I go to Idaho, let's shoot your whip. If I have wheels, then you can shoot it. F7 Productions, thoughts on the experience with Panasonic GH4, GH5. Um, I couldn't really give you my thoughts on it because I've never really used one. I've held one, they feel like a toy. Jimmy D. Tran, how much do you love me? A lot. SRT4 Murad, Murad, hopefully I said that right. What's your dream wheels? I don't know, I don't really have a dream wheel. Yo. Brian Lawrence, what kind of music do you love? Everything except country. Country's trash. Mason dot old ham. Gushers or fruit by the foot? Oh. Oh. No, they're everywhere. I think, I think I got hair on that one. I don't know. They're both pretty good. Sun films. What's the basic Brando starter kit? You're looking at it. And my camera, my camera's usually in my hand. And a Subaru. That's my starter kit. JW Media. Why does Jimmy's Miata not run? Because they're trash. Dr. Griner. If you had to buy a BMW, which would you choose? Or which one would you choose? Probably an E30 M3. My camera stopped recording, so I have to re refilm the ending. All right, so to the end of the video, I'm gonna touch up on a couple of things. Um, all the content you see right now on my YouTube, I've been, um, Recently working with Airlift Performance and I've been doing tons and tons of videos for them. So mainly the videos I've been working on recently, I've just all been posted on the Airlift Performance site or YouTube and Instagram. I haven't really posted much on my personal stuff. Um, my Instagram, yeah, so I posted a lot on my Instagram, um, but I've kind of just linked it to Airlift stuff. So right now all my content is on Airlift site or Airlift's YouTube and if you want to check that out, Feel free, it's right here. Um, but I'm gonna continue to do more with more. I'm gonna continue to do more work with them. Um, right now, I'm actually going to fly out to First Class Fitment in New Jersey, Princeton, New Jersey. So hopefully, this video will be out before then, and then um, I'll be going to SEMA for them. So hopefully, I'm gonna try to vlog for those um, trips. Maybe some vlog, good vlog content. I don't know. Um, but anyways, that kind of wraps up the video. If you guys want me to do another Q&A, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and a like, and kind of let me know what you guys want to see in the future. But more, you know, the tutorials, um, gear guide, uh, vlogs, anything. Just, you know, kind of building this channel right now so I can kind of film everything and kind of find that niche once I blow up and become famous. I make that YouTube money so I can buy a, uh, by that R8, you know.